again. I'm Phil, the storyteller. And I'm Will, the music teacher. And uh, we're going to do a story for you today from the travelling people. And this is how it goes. Once in the Red Valley, there was the Red Fort. In the Red Fort was the Red King. And the Red King had three sons, Pedro, Michal, and Shemus. And the Red King called his sons one day and said, Boys, I'm getting old, I'm dying, and I want to make sure you're all right. So, Seamus, when I die, you're the eldest. You can be the king here. Now, Mecha, you are to go to another kingdom, marry a princess, and become king there. And Pedro, no father, you cannot tell me what to do. You're dying, father, and I hate that. I don't want to see you grow old. I don't want to see you die. I don't want to die. I want to go to a place where I can live forever. That's a curse, said the dad. That is a curse, Peter. Don't go. Nevertheless, he saddled up his horse. He was given provisions and he rode. He rode out of the fort and rode out of the valley. It took him two days over the top of the mountains and then into other lands, strange lands full of strange and curious people, strange smells and colors. And he rode for some years and he found a forest and the forest was as big as a continent. And he rode through the forest for many, many months until he got to the middle of the forest. And there he saw a parrot on a tree and the parrot said, Hello, Peter. I've been waiting for you. Peter, you can stay here with me. Peter said, will you live forever? And the parrot said, I will. Because I will live as long as it takes for me to peck at every leaf, every branch, every tree in this whole forest and for them to turn to sawdust. And will you die then? Only then will I die, said the parrot. Well, that's not living forever, said Peter. And he rode out of the forest. And he rode again for years until he came to the beautiful barren lands of the desert. And there he saw seven mountains. He crossed the seven mountains and got to a valley. And there in the valley was a copper castle made totally of copper and it shone in the valley. He rode down to the copper castle, rode across the copper drawbridge, but once he was inside the castle, he saw that his name was etched everywhere on every surface. And then he went into the palace and saw pictures of him everywhere. And then he saw a woman and she said, I am the queen here, Peter, and I've been waiting for you. Can I stay here? Yes, Peter, I've been longing for you. But will I live forever if I stay here? Yes, Peter, you will. Only when those seven mountains outside are worn down by the rain and the wind and the hail, only then will I die. But I will die with you. And he said, but I want to live forever. I'm not staying. He turned his horse around. He rode out, her lamentation ringing in his ears. And he rode for many years until he got to the place of no people, the place where the north wind lives, the valley. <laughs> the north wind said, welcome, Peter. I've been waiting for you. And Peter said, wind. Will I live forever here? Yes, you will, Peter. I'll never die, you'll never die. But Peter, just be careful. At the bottom of this valley is the darkness. If the shadow of the darkness touches you, you will begin to die. I will never go there, said Peter. And so he began to live in the valley. He hunted hare and deer. He lived well, and every evening he looked up at the stars. Days and evenings were longer than he thought, and he
He had no idea how long he'd been there, and one day he was chasing a deer, chasing it on his horse, seeing its white tail bobbing over branches, under boughs, chasing it down, down, down towards the darkness. And he realized just in time and pulled his horse up and skidded round, but his foot touched the shadow. And then it came, that heaviness in his heart, that longing, the longing, longing for home. I have to get home, said Peter. I have to get home. I have to get home. He couldn't sleep. He couldn't eat. He got on his horse and he left the valley of the North Wind. And the North Wind said, I knew you would. And he rode for many years and he came to the valley of the copper castle and he looked and the seven mountains were not there and he went in and he saw the queen and the queen said I waited for you I waited for you till all those seven mountains were worn away to dust and now you come it's too late for our life together and she collapsed into dust and did the whole castle. Peter got on his horse and he rode and he rode and he rode. And he rode to a desert. A desert and in the middle of the desert there was a twig and on the twig was a parrot. And the parrot said, I knew you'd come back. But my time is come. And he pecked that twig and fell dead. And Peter realized that feeling of heaviness he had. He was being followed all the way from the valley of the North Wind. He was being followed. Whoever it was followed him to the Copper Castle, followed him to the Parrot. He had to get home, home, and he rode. He rode towards the mountains. He rode towards the mountains where the Red Valley was. He crossed the mountains, and the road was black. The road was black and long, and there were many roads. There were houses and there were dragons on the road. He got off the road. And another dragon. And he looked up in the air and there were flying dragons. Surrounded by the strangeness, Peter went down to the city because now the whole valley was a city. Where was the red fort? He went into the city. The people ignored him looked at him strange. They spoke in a peculiar tongue. He made his way through the alleyways of the city. All was looking behind him. He was being followed. He made his way to the middle of the city and there saw a stone and he sat on the stone and he asked a passing stranger, excuse me, where's the red fort? The stranger laughed. The red fort? It's a myth. It's a legend. It's not even history. Some say there used to be a red fort here and the stone you're sitting on is the last stone. You're a very strange boy. And the stranger left. And then Peter looked around and saw who was following him. It was a young woman. A beautiful young woman. Jet black hair. She came to him and she said, Peter, I've been following you. I've been looking for you ever since you left the valley. And Peter said, why? And the woman said, look at my cart. Look at all those shoes, the pile of shoes I've worn out chasing after you. Peter, I am dead. Come home. Peter opened his arms, took hold of the young woman, and she held him with love, and he died. Well, friends, that is the end of that story. Thanks, Will. Thank you, Phil. Well, until next time, with Phil and Will's songs and stories, We'll see you then from Phil the Storyteller. Bye-bye. And Will the Music Teacher.
Bye-bye. Bye-bye.